All right, guys, as I promised from last night, I told you guys I will do the next video the next day, which is today, which is Sunday. I got my Sunday Funday shirt on, so you know it's official. So what I'm going to reveal is that car that I told you last night, and I'm going to open the garage right now, and then we are going to review it. You ready? Let me see. Oh, there you go. It's coming out of the garage now. Two thousand six Subaru WRX STI. I can't wait. That's the car. So let's check it out. I'm about to start it up. Get it out of the garage. ago and it has some issues because if I don't buy a car that don't have no issues there's no point because I want to put some videos for you guys to see it and of course this is like I said one of my dream cars and I can't wait to review it so I'm gonna show you guys briefly around the car and show you what comes with it what what don't so right now they got that uh really clean interior it's really clean i love it it got a show shifter uh the little screen tv that comes with the car uh that's very clean i love that it got the bluetooth uh let's go to the back the back seat it's pretty clean also it's all really clean and it's pretty mint condition so i love it and you know got that blue and black and we're gonna go to the trunk next. The trunk is very spacious. This is the bottom of the uh, is the cover, plastic cover, but it's pretty spacious down here. Like you can fit a person in here. I can, I probably can fit in here. So you know what I mean. I love it. And you know, yeah. got a big spoiler, the SDI spoiler. That I love this. If if this wasn't on the car. I probably wouldn't even get a car. I probably just move on from it. So let's go to this side. And they have the gold BBS wheels, the factory wheels, the 17s. I think on this one, it has some rust on it. I want to see if I can redo it. And if not, I just uh, get some aftermarket eventually. But I still want to redo it if it's possible. So let's go to the engine. Well, before we go to the engine, let's just go see. Uh, right here, the paint is fading, and it's not uh, that bad, and I'm okay with that, because if it wasn't uh, a car with issues, then why, why get it, right? And right here, let's check this mirror out right here. Um, the other one is in same condition. Like I said, it got a little bit of issues, and I still love the car. In the front of the car, it got all this uh, faded paint right here, all the clear coat spilling off. Um, it's not too, too, too bad, but like I say, I'm going to repaint the car the same color because I love this blue. And the engine bay is pretty much stock. So I got, they had two oil. Uh, catch cans here and like I said I deleted I took one off because I'm gonna explain later on why it was there I only needed one but okay that's fine uh, it got a little filter here intake filter and this uh, turbo inlet uh, hose is bad by the turbo area and I'm waiting on a new one to come in and the turbo is brand new. It's a little bit better than stock. Uh, this is the blow valve that I'm going to put on the car, meaning it's on the car, but what I'm saying is it's not all the way in because I was trying to see if it was working because I just purchased that before I bought the car. I will have to do some modification to make sure it, it comes on perfectly. And I have also 
another blow valve that I had purchased for it and I took it off. They got uh, the pairing, uh, pairing uh, super radiator supporter right here and also the pairing uh, intake boot is on the way so I'm gonna have a pain installing that because it's not easy. So that's coming soon. I haven't purchased too much stuff with the car uh, after I purchased it. But I'm just thinking about what to, I'm going to do next. I got brand new battery, brand new spark plug uh, all the way around. They have two codes, misfire cylinder one and cylinder four. I'm going to make sure this car is going to be in uh, perfect condition whenever I finish owning or whatever. Salad trailer later, a couple years later, I'm not sure. <laughs> they only have 91,000 miles, by the way. It's a 2006. And I'm going to keep it as low as I can. And this car comes with a, uh, it's called a water inlet. It's like, it shoots water on the inner cooler. That is on the trunk, so let's go check it out. So right here is where you put that, uh, the water spray thing that I was telling you about in the front of the car. You just fill up, fill up this with water. I'll show you where this button right here say I slash C water spray. This is the button that you press and then water will spray on the intercooler to cool it down some. So for that being said, uh, this is my new car for the channel. It will have a lot of stuff coming for it. And I, I hope you guys enjoy it because uh, the other car I mentioned that I was going to get before this one, it was a Mitsubishi Evolution 8, got 2003. Uh, it had rust under the frame. That's why I decided not to get it. And it was hard to get another one. And if I was to get one, it's they always like in mint condition. It's very highly modified, and I don't want that because I want to do my own uh, performance. Because this one is pretty much stock. It got an exhaust system. I'm not sure what kind yet. I will in a later video. I will find out and tell you guys what is it. But it sounds so good. Uh, the exhaust had a lot of oil on it because the turbo, the shaft plate on it was so bad that a lot of oil got on the exhaust. So. They're probably gonna smoke for a little bit longer sounding as far as the sound is gonna, it's gonna look so amazing uh, after all that smoke goes away um so that's what i got and uh, i hope you guys enjoy it because i definitely am i love this car so i will keep it for a little while you know and then i'll move on later later down the road so thank you for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one